Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the process of uploading a tour and moderating it in the trusted Street View Editor. So the first thing you need to do is find your bit CID of your business. And I use the CID Finder. And once you have the CID, you can go over to your the business view editor and use create. Now you can enter the name and address, but sometimes it doesn't work. The CID works the best, I find. And then just hit enter. And you can double check to make sure it's the, the place that you're doing, which it is. Uh, I'm just going to re-moderate this tour because I noticed one small mistake. It seems to be skipping over one of the one of the panels and I don't know why so I'm going to redo it and see if it's just a maybe it's a Google thing or maybe it's something I did in the um, in the first process but uh, anyway it's a very small tour so it's not going to take very long to do so it's a good I good uh, chance to do a tutorial on it so once you have the the right place you're going to go, go next now this is for the the point of interest I suggest you skip this and go straight to your panels because you can always add photos in just through the regular Google Maps uh, add a photo, which is a much better option because you can delete it after as well. Um, so here's my pre-stitched and make sure not unstitched but pre-stitched. Next. Make sure this is the what you're doing here and go next. Yes, I'm redoing this one so I'm going to submit it. And since it's a small tour and since they're pre-stitched, it probably won't take very long for it to upload and be ready to moderate. But uh, in the meantime, I'll just pause this. Okay, that took about 15 minutes for it to get to the stage where we can uh, verify the panoramas and do the tour. Okay, so I like to go to the satellite view just to see where this building is. And it's inside this church here is the, is the art gallery. So just shift and select. I can bring this up over here. Uh, I'm going to switch my mouse because I have a broken mouse I'm using, and so this doesn't help at all. Um, so I'm just going to pause this. OK, and just zoom out a bit. Place it over the church and just grab one of the corners to make it a little larger. Fill the space. And then uh, it's a good idea to just keep saving as you go. So if I get a little closer here, just click outside. I did this tour backwards, so I started on the inside and worked my way out. So basically I started at the back of the church and worked my way towards outside. So. If you click on the lines, it takes them off, the connections. There we go. Okay, so outside. So we're right around there. Top of the stairs. Inside. Just over to the right. Now I think it was something like that. I haven't even looked at the panels yet, so uh, if I click on number four, I'm not so sure of. Yeah, so number four was, was more like this. Uh, 
Okay. Save it, of course. So uh, I'll start at number seven here, outside. And you can see that the arrow is facing the wrong way. So the easiest thing to do is just grab the little plus sign, spin your pano so that it faces the next one, number six, which is at the top of the stairs here. See, so if I look backwards, it goes to number seven. I look forwards, it's going to take me through the door to number five. And so I'm inside at number five. If I look backwards, it takes me outside. And number four seems to be lined up pretty good. If I look backwards, it's number five. I like to look down to the floor. Now number three is over in this corner here. So I just want to double check that it's pretty much straight across. So the other one was in this area. So this slight, it's not quite in the corner. I sort of have to come back a little bit like that to bring it to the area where it was. So that's not too bad at the corner of the carpet there. Over to number three. And then number two, which is on the other side. And number one. So that's it. That's basically moderated. Now the next step is to just right click on all these lines to lock them down. Let's get a little closer. If I can get in there, there we go. And unfortunately, there is no street view in the front here. Um, the closest one is way over here somewhere on the main street. Um, so what you would do is connect these to here. If Now that's a bit of a stretch to go from there to there, but um, <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's the best we can do to attach it to the street. And I'll just lock that down since there's nothing out here. All right, so that's moderated. So go to next. And now it's blurring. Now, there was nobody in this place. So luckily I had no visitors. I waited till they left before taking the, uh, the panos. But it's a good idea to look in reflections of windows and things for just for yourself. There is a lot of glass here, but they're very small frames. So I'm just clicking on it once. You take a quick look around. Make sure you're not in the glass here. You could even zoom in. But I'm pretty sure I don't see anything of me on there. And then double or just click again and it'll go green. So click once, look around, zoom in on items and see if your reflection is there or anybody else. And uh, that's it. Well, here, maybe this car, just in case. Yeah. We'll just take the little blur, create, and go over the license plate. Click that. Don't think there's any more license plates outside. Now the tripod was on a bunch of gravel, so um, wasn't the steadiest surface to take uh, panos on. So it may have shifted. I can see when I zoomed in over here, it might have shifted a little bit. So next, so basically that's my tour. So I'm going to take the storefront panel, that's the exterior. 
that would be this one. The interior panel will go right in, maybe right to here, since this looks nice. And this will be the interior panel. So that's the C outside and C inside done. And then it's the final uh, stage here is just to make sure your business is the right name. Are they all placed correctly in the world? Yes. With the correct Google Plus page? Yes, the correct CID is right. The storefront is correct and the interiors is correct. Um, it's up to you to launch preview before publishing, but um, it's easier just to submit it. Are you sure you want to publish? Okay. And it's publishing, but you can leave this page. It's going to be past quality control tests waiting to publish. In about 10 minutes, you'll get an email saying that it's it's been published, and then about 48 hours later, it will actually be published, uh, public. So uh, basically, that is all it takes to do, uh, you know, a simple one. Like, that's about seven panos, so it's not uh, that long to do the whole process. Hope that you found that interesting, and if you have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments. Okay, have a good day.